Most AI video tools are either locked behind paywalls or barely usable. The professional looking tools are geo-blocked or cost $250 a month. And the cheap ones are still glitchy messes with no real control. But I've been testing open art with Google VO3 for the past six days, and it completely changes how you generate, animate, and finish AI videos all in one place. Because inside open art, you're not just generating one-off clips, you're building full cinematic pipelines with character consistency, image to video and sound all in one flow. Let me show you what that allows you to create and all that without needing to turn on your VPN or hand over hundreds just to run a single clip. So in this video, I'll show you exactly how to build scenes like this step by step. Morning chat. It's game day. Chat, y'all ready to see some history? Let's go, chat room. Okay, chat 37 down. I need bananas. Who's next? If we reach the thousand banana goal, I'm doing it again. All right, before we get into the workflow, let me tell you why OpenArt is the best tool for this. The biggest breakthrough here isn't just that you get access to VO3, it's that you get to use it inside a platform that actually understands creative workflows. Trying to run VO3 directly through Google means hitting a wall unless you're in the US and on their $250 per month enterprise plan. OpenArt removes that wall completely. It gives you full VO3 access globally from a basic account. But what really makes it different is what happens after you generate a video. Because you're not just running a model, you're inside a full suite where every tool connects. You can generate consistent character images, turn those into animated scenes, layer in dialogue or sound, and export the final result all in one interface. No exporting to other third-party tools and no dealing with broken motion or lost quality because you had to switch platforms mid-process. Everything here was designed to work together. That's why this combo matters. Not just because VO3 is good, but because OpenArt makes it usable for real creative output without chaos. Now let's actually start creating. First thing I'm doing is heading to OpenArt. If you don't have an account yet, just sign up by clicking the link in the description. It's super quick. When logged in, you'll land inside the dashboard. Now from the top navigation, I'm going to click videos. That brings up the full AI video generator interface. Right away, you'll notice a few tabs. There's text to video, image to video, elements to video, and audio. We'll be using the text to video tab for now. Before we start typing anything in, make sure you're actually using the right video model. You'll wanna check the dropdown that's near the top of the interface. I'm selecting Google VO3 here, since it's the best model for AI video creation as of today. All right, with VO3 selected, I'm going to do a quick test run just to show you how fast and smooth this really is. In the text prompt box, I'm typing a wide shot of an abandoned train station at night. Rain pours from a broken ceiling and puddles ripple as a hooded figure walks through the platform holding a flickering lantern. Neon signs in the background pulse faintly through the fog. The camera slowly pans left as the figure pauses, looks up at a timetable and whispers, too late again. Reflections shimmer on the wet floor. Blue-orange color contrast, 24 FPS, cinematic tension, volumetric lighting. This is just to get a sense of the output quality and how audio is automatically handled. Once that's typed in, I'm clicking the generate button. Now the back end is running the prompt through VO. Processing usually takes about 30 to 60 seconds, depends on server load, but it's way faster than rendering traditionally. Too late again. Look, we see the lantern flickers realistically. The rain reacts with the environment, fog rolls in the background, and the lip sync on Too Late Again is timed perfectly. Even the lighting shifts as the neon pulses. It's moody, textured, and stable. That's the kind of scene that used to take hours to build across four tools. Now it's one prompt, one generate button. You can save the video to your computer or keep it inside your open art account. And from here, you can either upscale it or jump straight into a new clip. So now let's actually create the full 100 men versus one gorilla video you saw in the beginning. First, we dive deeper into prompts because how you write them makes or breaks the output. I'm gonna walk you through one of the more advanced prompts I'm using 
and then break down how to structure your own. A medium shot from the selfie stick as the gorilla crouches behind a broken column, catching his breath with dirt streaked fur and a cracked lens on the camera. He whispers, okay chat, 37 down, I need bananas. Light shafts cut through dust clouds, natural golden lighting, filmic tension, muted battlefield tones, 24 FPS, single breathy line for lip sync clarity. Let's go through it line by line so you understand what's doing the work. Starting with the camera framing, a medium shot from the selfie stick. That sets both the perspective and the context. It tells VO3 this is coming from a closed, semi-humorous angle and not a classic wide cinematic frame. That helps sell the meme format. Next, the character in pose, a silverback gorilla crouches behind a broken column, catching his breath. This locks the gorilla into a readable action and clearly places him in a battlefield environment, not floating or randomly positioned. Then comes texture and detail, dirt streaked fur and cracked lens on the camera. These are tiny cues, but they help the model understand grit, wear, realism, and even some storytelling. The dialogue, okay chat, 37 down, I need bananas. This is exactly eight words, just enough for VO3 to sync lips without glitching. And because it's a breathy line, I added that tag at the end, single breathy line for lip sync clarity to help guide the audio tone. And then I defined the lighting. Light shafts cut through dust clouds, natural golden lighting. These build the atmosphere. You always want to tell VO3 what kind of light is in play. That's what gives the final render depth and realism. Then I wrap with aesthetic tags, filmic tension, muted battlefield tones, 24 FPS. These are your visual directors. They guide the style from pacing and color to emotional tone. And finally, this structure isn't random. It gives the model exactly what it needs to generate a clear, cinematic, readable clip without glitches. Now let's hit generate and see what we get. Okay, chat 37 down. I need bananas. Instantly, you can see the quality and how well VO3 follows the instructions we gave it. The audio layers in perfectly to the video and really makes it look like it was done by a professional team. Now we're gonna keep building out the story with the same gorilla, same energy, just moving through the next few scenes. For this shot, I'm staying inside the video tab and using text to video again. I'm typing a close up handheld shot from a selfie stick held by a towering silverback gorilla standing in a misty jungle clearing lit by pre-dawn blue light. His massive face dominates the frame as he squints into the camera and grunts, morning chat, it's game day. Behind him, makeshift wooden weapons and protein jars lie scattered on a mossy stump. Fireflies drift through humid air. High cinematic contrast, soft ambient blue-green tones, 24 FPS, slight camera shake for realism. Now let's see what we get. Morning chat. It's game day. Now let's repeat that with the next shot. A wide angle shot from the gorilla's selfie stick as he struts down a cracked stone tunnel into the Colosseum. Torchlight flickering across his fur. He turns the camera briefly to show the roaring crowd above, then back to himself and growls, Chat, y'all ready to see some history? His breath mists in the cool, smoky air. One continuous forward pan with dynamic light flicker, volcanic color palette of oranges and blacks, cinematic realism, 24 FPS. And this prompt gives us this result. Chat, y'all ready to see some history? And what is even better is that with OpenArt's consistent character tool, you can create this type of videos with your own character. It can be an animal, a celebrity, or even yourself. If you want to learn how, I've made a video showing you exactly how to build incredibly consistent characters in this video. So now we got two videos out of six, and I'm going to finish the remaining two off camera since the process is pretty much the same, okay? Now I've made all the videos, but before we bring everything into CapCut, I want to go over a few things I always check before I move forward, just to avoid the common issues that can totally kill the vibe of your video. First, I make sure I didn't overpack the prompt. If I try to get the character to run, cast a spell, deliver dialogue, and react to an explosion all at once, it's too much. The model gets overwhelmed and the animation turns stiff. Same goes for camera movement. I only use one, either a slow zoom out or a wide pan or maybe a tilt, never more than one in the same prompt. And then there's the dialogue. Even though VO3 supports lip sync, it only really works when the lines are short, like six to eight words max. Once all of that is locked, I've got clips that are clean, cinematic, and export ready. 
Alright, I've already generated all six scenes shot from the gorilla's selfie stick perspective using VO3 inside OpenArc. Now I'm heading into CapCut to bring it all together. I trim off any glitchy frames at the beginning or end of each clip. I will then add some overlays, making it look like an actual live stream. I double check the audio levels to balance the original VO3 sounds with the background effects, and once it all flows, I export the final version. And now we just built a six scene, story driven Instagram reel with full lip sync, stable motion, dramatic lighting, and a POV character with personality in under 10 minutes. So now you actually know how to take raw AI outputs and turn them into clean cinematic sequences from prompting to final edit. And OpenArt isn't just another AI tool, it's the full creative workflow with VO3 built in, ready to run globally. If you want to try it yourself, the link to OpenArt is in the description. And if you want to see exactly how to create consistent characters that hold up across every shot, watch this video next.